Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about how to get some free bowling tips. <laughs> well, here at BowlingBall.com, we literally offer hundreds of uh, articles uh, primarily located in our Bowlversity section. Right on the home page, just click on the button. It'll give you a lot of options uh, for bowling articles, coaching tips, you know, instructionally oriented, uh, or even information about the industry. And now our new editorial section where we've got uh, the beginning of an editorial commentary coming every month and perhaps even more than once a month in time. So, uh, but primarily our tips are designed to give you a whole range of ideas for a whole range of averages up to about a 200 average. As example, the beginner uh, articles are for people just getting started in the game or maybe they bowl and they average 120 or even less. Uh, <clears throat> we go to intermediate from 120 to maybe 1. 40 in that area, uh, 150, 160, uh, and then of course the uh, advanced players from uh, say 160 to 180 and the highly skilled players from 180 to 200. Now there's a lot of you bowlers out there that read our articles, read the newsletter instructional tips, and also uh, visit our site and check out what we have to offer. And, and many of you are 220 average bowlers or 230 or whatever, uh, very nearly, or uh, professionals, or possibly some of you are. And for those bowlers, we really can't offer a lot of tips in the way of coaching or instructions, but uh, because you, you're, you're already very skilled and very talented, and you probably have your own people that you consult with when you need to work on your game. So we'll leave you guys be, but there's always information in articles and even the simplest and most basic tips can work for you and for any bowlers. I don't care if they're the best bowlers on the Pro Bowlers Tour in any era. The simplest and best things to return to your base game to when you need to practice and you're in a little bit of a slump or you're going to gear up for an event, you need to work on certain fundamentals. Well, I wanted to give you a few quick tips today. They're free, and let's get right to it. Number one. Keep your target aligned with your bowling shoulder throughout your approach and your release. It's important to, to try to do that. Now, some bowlers will rotate their shoulders open and closed uh, depending on how much they hook the ball or what swing path they desire. But basically, if you can have a consistent shoulder motion where your bowling shoulder is lined up into your target and is in a good position coming into the release zone, you're going to be okay. Keep your eyes focused on your target. Uh, it's just a reminder where you want the ball to go. And it also helps steady the head for good balance. Uh, and make sure you hold your form uh, and, and keep your eyes on that target until the ball passes your target. Maintain an athletic posture. This is important. During your entire approach, keep an athletic posture. Maybe the tail out slightly, the, the, the shoulders tilted forward just slightly, and the knees flexed so you're balanced and the majority of the weight of your torso is over your legs. Uh, so you can have good balance all the way through your approach in that critical moment of release. All right, very important. Number two, focus on a consistent pace or tempo of your of your steps. When you walk to the foul line, avoid trying to accelerate your steps excessively. Even if you have fast footwork, don't get too fast. That's, uh, you know, particularly your last two steps. Bowlers get in a hurry to release the ball. They have that pivot step gets quick, step before your slide, and then, of course, you slide quickly, and the hand grabs the ball, hurries it through, and maybe a careless release happens. Try to avoid that. So when you get on the practice lane, make sure you get your regular pace, regular rhythm of steps, uh, and work on that because it will help you in competition. Uh, increasing the pace of your steps, by the way, beyond your normal cadence or your normal rhythm uh, will cause a hurried uh, release. Uh, and a lot of times very inaccurate. Begin your downswing uh, freely flowing from the top of the swing uh, in one interrupted motion. Allow the ball to swing freely without arm control as it comes down into the releasing area. Uh, it's important to do that without increasing muscle tension. Relax muscles, move smoothly. Uh, a, good, a good tip is a similar tempo back and forward. Naturally, it's never quite uh, that way or never the same from bowler to bowler, but what you want to do is get a regulated rhythm or pace to your arm swing and try not to introduce tension or extra energy in it. Get a consistent gripping pressure on the ball. Now, practice swinging your bowling hand in the follow-through motion in the direction of your target. If you're a direction player, 
you want to swing the ball toward your target with your hand following the ball in that direction of the target. If you're a power player, usually your hips and shoulders are opened a little more, which allows a swing path to release the ball at a slightly wider angle from the release point on the lane down the lane to the break point in comparison to a, a player that goes straight up the boards or just with a modest hook. And naturally, you players are going to open your hips and shoulders, so your follow-through looks like it's going left more relative to the lane, but uh, or relative to your body, but relative to the lane, it still allows you to feed the ball down the lane to your break point. So it's going to vary for power players. Power players can be any different average range, uh, but usually you're in the in the advanced or highly skilled range, and you want to make sure that you're aligned toward your target, that you repeat over and over. It's very important. Uh, if you can get on a video camera or work for a coach, it'll help you to watch it yourself so you can help regulate your follow-through motion and be as accurate as possible. And you want to regulate your speed control as well. Now, I hope some of these tips help you. Uh, get out to the practice lane and practice. Don't just throw the ball in a familiar lane. Just strike after strike with a bowling ball. You know that works. You use your time wisely. Work on a key, couple key fundamentals of your game, particularly if you're gearing up for an, an event that's meaningful to you. And we hope you can find these free tips all over our Bowlversity section here at uh, bowlingball.com. You're welcome to them. In fact, uh, uh, we've got more free tips than uh, any other website uh, in the business. So anyway, thank you and all the best of luck to you.